Hello my friends, I got a couple of very exciting news for you today. We are gonna talk about the update and things that you may have not seen or heard about yet. So first thing I want to start with, a lot of people are talking about this new support card insane price. Let's take a look, for example, if I wanted my Kenshi, now you can get your support cards all the way to level 10 which is absolutely incredible and uh, it comes at a price it comes at a very steep price as you see to get your char uh, characters from 4 to 5 is gonna take 20,000 from 5 to 6 is gonna uh, is gonna take 50,000 I'm it might be yeah I think it's it's going up pretty fast but look at that bonus recovery increases by quite a lot your health from 15% it, it, it was increasing by four percent, by three percent every time. So I, I assume it's gonna go to eighty percent, eighteen percent, right? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be plus three percent. So technically, you can get your character to plus thirty-three percent health. It's basically like putting on a piece of gear, like a Saurian armor or power glove and having extra 30% health and attack. It's absolutely incredible. The prices of upgrades are... I agree, they're absolutely insane. It's 125 already to get from 6 to 7, and from what I've heard, to get uh, from, 10, from 9 to 10, it's gonna take 1 million coins. And a lot of people are complaining about saying it's silly. Honestly, I think it's absolutely incredible. There was a huge problem in this game where people who've been playing for a long time, they just ran out of stuff to spend their coins on, and, and grinding coins just felt useless. There was nothing you could, you could do with your coins. Now, there is gonna be always something to do with your coins, because to upgrade all of the support cards to max, you will need millions, hundreds of millions, billions, if I might, of, of coins, and it's definitely very long-term a very end game thing to max out your support cards. And let's be honest, you probably just want to max out support cards to your main teams, but eventually it's a goal to do this for old cards. We're not losing anything with this. People who... Uh, you, you can still get your cards to Fusion 4, it's gonna cost pretty much the same thing, and it's still gonna give you the same boosts. It's just if you want to take it higher, and if you have extra coins, go for it. You, you can grind the coins so easy in this game, especially if you're gonna be grinding the new faction wars, you're getting coins for every battle, you're getting coins from, from everything, there is so many sources of coins in this game. And now there is, they added an, a nice feature that will allow us to never, never uh, be in a situation where, when we don't know what to spend our coins on. So I think this is one of the best features of the update, and I'm totally okay with the prices, it should be. It should be expensive, guys, because it's it's incredible boost to your characters, and it's highly endgame. Don't spend your coins on support cards if you don't have all your gear maxed yet, for example, or don't have all your special attacks maxed. This is an incredible feature, and I fully support it. So, now let's talk about stuff I found in the game files. There is a lot of interesting stuff. There is a hidden character that we didn't even know was coming, and it's Cold War Scarlet, guys. I'm gonna put her picture right here, right near me. This is the graphics for the Cold War Scarlet. She looks absolutely incredible. There is no information right now if she's gonna be uh, a challenge. Well, she's a Cold War, so she's gonna be Diamond for sure, because all the, all the Cold War characters are Diamonds. So there is no way to know what's what, what's gonna be her deal, how, how do we get her. No way f f to know yet. Probably gonna be some pack exclusive. Uh, anyway, she looks absolutely ridiculous, and I can't wait for her to get fully released. And also, there is a Nightmare Tower coming, and right now I'm gonna put on the screen all 10 new gear pieces that are already in the game. I'm gonna tell you the names of these pieces. So these 10 pieces are gonna be unlockable from the new Nightmare Tower. So the pieces are... Give me a second, need to load... Trophy Collection! Stormweaver. Oh my god, Radiant Pieces are amazing. Thunderlord's Sigil. Oh, this is beautiful. Crypt Spiderfang. Oh my god, yes. This one is uh, Killer Jacket. Alright, alright. Jump Rope Song. 
Beautiful. Uh, family tools. Oh, this is... Leatherface is definitely going to be in that tower. Demon bat. <laughs> How is a demon bat even in equipment? Behance visage. Beautiful, beautiful. And a Behance tormentor. All right. This is pretty good. Ten new pieces of gear. And also the noob cybot uh, gear. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. Uh, that is called, let me find it, what is it called? This is a fully maxed out uh, graphic and it's called Grim Essence. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, it should be available in, uh, in equipment packs right now. I'm not sure actually, it probably is, right? If you pulled it, let me know in the comments. So this is 11 new pieces of gear added uh, already. This is pretty cool. Can't wait for that tower. It's probably going to be after uh, after the Tower of Horror. All right, let's see what else is new in the game. All right, I'm looking at the packs right now. Oh my God, yes, the Cold War Scarlet is going to be released at Black Friday. There's going to be a Black Friday special pack that is going to have. Uh, I don't know what are the chances for the packs or anything. I just see these graphics. It's called Black Friday Special. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. There is also going to be Black Friday Coin Chest. There is going to be Black Friday Gold Bundle, Black Friday Diamond Bundle, and and yes, this, I think this, these are all... Oh, Black Friday, Black Friday Tower Bundle. So I assume that the new tower, the the, uh, the Horror Tower is going to be released uh, at least for the time of Black Tower, I, for, for the Black Friday, I, I think. I'm not sure. There's also going to be Cyber Monday deal I see here, Sub Cyber Monday bundle with Cutthroat, Kano and Triborgs. This is just weird, I don't know what, what's that all about. So yeah, some, some Black Friday deals are coming, which is really good, which is really good. Hope they're going to be worth it. Halloween Tower. Duo bundle. Now this is interesting. Halloween diamond pack. There is a lot of new packs added into the game. There is also going to be Cold War champion pack and Cold War diamond pack. So we're going to be getting a, basically a new deal for uh, for the new Cold War Scarlet for actual money, which is champion pack, and then the diamond pack, which is you'll be able to open it with souls for the chance to get Cold War uh, Scarlet, which I think is going to be insane character. There's also going to be Cold War Scarlet special bundle for the money, which looks like you're going to be getting guaranteed Cold War Scarlet and her gear and actually some, some cards. This looks like a pretty interesting deal. Oh my god, there's going to be Noob Cybot Brutality Pack, which means... Which means where some of the gear, oh yes, some of the gear from Nightmare Tower is going to be for Noob Cybot Brutality. This is incredible. There's going to be Super Black Friday Tower Bundle and Super Cyber Monday deal. There's going to be a lot of Black Friday deals. And Ultimate Black Friday Soul card. Okay, there's going to be a lot of discounts on Souls. So if you guys are planning to buy Souls, you should wait for Black Friday. It looks like there's going to be some amazing discount. Ultimate Cyber Monday deal. Holy moly. That is incredible. A lot of deals are coming. Doesn't look like there's going to be any special packs unless they just put regular packs on discount. And obviously they're going to release Cold War Scarlet seems for Black Friday. So yeah, these are pretty much all the news uh, I found in the game files. Noob Cybot Brutality sounds amazing and a lot of Black Friday Cyber Monday deals. Yeah, looking forward to that. Also, Nightmare Tower is gonna come with a, a lot of bundles, like a huge amount of bundles. And yeah, this is pretty much how the Nightmare Tower is gonna look like. This is all I got for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which of these are you mostly excited about. I'm definitely looking forward to Noob Saibot Brutality. Hope it looks better than his Fatal Blow. And hope it's gonna be pretty easy to get. No, it's not gonna be. I just know it. Alright, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.